So I have created a VPC. Now I will jump to subnets, right? So let's select on which VPC I want to create that subnet. So I selected my security VPC, right? So my security VPC is 10.0.0.0 slash 16 subnet. So let's create that subnet. My first will be management subnet, right? So that first will be 10.0.0.0 slash 24 name management subnet that is okay now my public subnet let's suppose i am going to give 10.0.1.0 slash 24 Name is fine. Private subnet. I'm giving that ten dot zero dot two dot zero slash twenty four. Done. I have created three subnets. Okay, this is my management subnet, public subnet and private subnet, right? So now we already know, right? That whenever we create any VPC, right? So till now what we have did, we created one VPC right 10.00 then we created three availability zones or three subnets but and how they will go to internet until we will not create igw right remember whenever we first to send any traffic to outside or to access that resources within that vpc that igw should be created and after creating that igw you have to attach that igw to that vpc until you after creating it you will not attach that igw to that vpc you will face problem and another thing you need to remember that one igw can be attached to only one vpc right so as you cannot share one igw with the two different vpcs so my, I have created PPC, I have created subnets. So now I'm going to create IGW. So let's security internet gateway, right? So I have created that security gateway. Now I have to attach this to my security VPC. So I am attaching to my security vpc done so monthly monthly just you have created subnets in the three different az or single az so i have created in let me see mm -hmm. we can create in any of the az so any of i AZ have na? abc yeah, okay uh, mm -hmm. yeah uh, only Tell single me, AZ you have yes. created mm -hmm. okay okay so but we we can create in the three three different az Another yeah, the the re yeah, why it will not create any problem because my default route is 10.0.0 slash 16, right? So they all will be covered that at local route. So they can communicate within that VPC until I will not okay. put any problem. So now I created one routing table. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have created IGW. So after creating IGW, now I have to tell them that which... Uh, availability zone or which subnet should go to internet and which one should not go to internet right 